Okay, people, I'm back, I'm back. That's right, I'm back. Okay, so, um, thanks for watching my last video. This is a new video. This video is about um, creating basic lists on Android, using Android Studio 2.2. Oh, yeah. So, um, let's get started. Okay, so, let's just create... Let's just create an application name. Um, let's call it list. Oops, practice. Okay. Um, say next. Okay. Leave everything the same. Say next. Uh, we want an empty active activity. So next. Uh, leave default next. So the thing about list now. Um, with Android, this is uh, it's really weird, really, really weird. Okay, as usual with Android, it there's about I don't know three or four different ways of doing the same thing, which is kind of why I like Android. It reminds me a little bit of Linux because on Linux, you know, there's usually about I don't know 10 or 20 different ways of doing the same thing, and that is probably what puts a lot of people off. But I like the fact that you can do the same thing in so many different ways. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is um, we want to go to the layout and uh, activity underscore main XML, which is where most of the design stuff happens. Um, okay, you click on that, you get this basic um, view. So let's get rid of this, which usually appears straight away. What we want to do is we want to go to the widget section and we want to grab we want to grab what do we want to grab we want to grab a list view there we go list view here so let's grab this and we just chuck it on here like so uh center it as you can see it takes up the whole screen and i don't want it to take up the whole screen so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to the layout underscore height and i'm going to change that to say, for example, 400 um, density pixels. That's what DP stands for, density pixels. And I'm going to press tab. And as you can see, it's changed the layout like that. So there's no specific reason I chose 400. It's just to show you that's where the list is. Um, okay, so what I also wanna do is give the list an ID. So I'm gonna say my list ID because it can be called anything. And I'll just press tab. And you see on, on the screen, it shows you a dummy list. Um, item one, sub item one, blah, blah, blah. It's just dummy list to show you that it's doing something. Um, it's important to have a, a, a list ID, otherwise it, it doesn't work very, it does work, but not very well. Okay, so um, what we wanna do now is go back to the actual Java file, main activities, click on that. Um, as you can see in here, we've got the standard, really, really, really basic main activity was what you get when you open. Okay, so the thing about lists is that you need uh, some, you know, basic things. You need to have the list view, um, which is wired to the the widget, the list view widget. So let's do that. Okay, so we want a, a list view class. Or, uh, let's create the object. Okay. Now, we, what you also need to do this is you need to have data. Um, so you've got the list view, as I said, and you need the data that's going to go into the list. So, so what I'm going to do here, um, you need an array list. So let's call it array list here. And you, in this array list, uh, it's going to be a list of string, which is, it's like a simple array, basically. Um, but it's a, it's a different type of algorithm, which is a list, because it's more dynamic than a, an array. Because an array is like a static sort of configuration. A list is, um, it's more dynamic. Okay, so I don't want to go into too much detail about the difference between an array and a list. Okay, so anyway, let's so we want to give it a name let's call it my data so this array list um, my data okay so the thing about list is that you need to have the list view and then as I said you need the data so you need some bridge you need something in the middle that binds them together and this is called an array adapter 
So let's create an array adapter of the same type string. And then I'm gonna call it my array adapter. As you can see, I'm not that great with giving names for variables, but never mind. Okay, so these are the three main things um, that you're gonna need. Um, why is this complaining? Okay, I just did an alt and enter to import the list view. Okay, so now let's go down into on create. So now I've declared my um, variables. Um, if you know about program, you know you need to initialize variables. So I've declared it, now I'm gonna initialize it. So let us link the objects to the widget, which is like what I did in the button um, tutorial. So you have to wire it like this. Um, it's a list view, cast it to list view and find, as usual, you have to find view by ID. And the resource is what I called it, my list ID. Okay, so now that's that bit's done. Now let's go to the next bit. We need to, um, the data, let us sort out the data. Let us populate the data. So my data, which is what I declared up here, I'm going to say my data equals a new instance of an array list. Of an array list of the same type string, okay? And I need to populate, at the moment it's empty, so let's just put some stuff in it. To put stuff into a list, you need to use the add method. So I'm going to say my data dot add, um, and I'm gonna keep it, just give it a string, cause that's all it is, it's a simple array, simple list, shall I say. Data one, and I'm gonna say my data two, add. So this is appending to the, the bottom of the list. And I'm going to cheat because I'm lazy like that. So I'm gonna copy this, and I'm gonna paste and paste and paste. And let us just get rid of this space. So. All right, let's call this three and four and five, six. Okay, let's just do this. So now, I have populated the list. Okay, so my um, my data sorted out, the storage is sorted out. Now, as I said before, we need to bridge the two together. So we need to link the actual data with the list view, which is um, the widget. So this is the part which is a bit tricky. Okay, so we need to say my array adapter equals a new instance of an array adapter, which is of the same type as usual. Uh, the context, resource, sorry, the context, and then we have a reserved Android ID, which is called Android dot resource layout. This is a reserved Android resource, which all it does is return a string. And then finally we put the data inside. It's looking for the data, which is could be an array of objects. It could be, um, it could be a list of objects and so forth. So what I, we've created my data. So I'm putting my data there at the end, like so. Okay, when it goes purple, that's good. And finally, the last part of this is we need to, um, so remember we had a list view, which is what we created up here. This is an, the, the instance of the, the list view. So we are going to add my adapter. So to do that, you say set adapter and then put my adapter in it. And then it's gone all purple. Great, it's finished, that's it. It's as simple as that. Um, this is the most basic, basic, basic way of doing the list. All it does is you turn one string, that is it. And um, there are much more complicated ways where you have custom lists and so forth with images and so forth. But um, let's just run this to see what happens. So I'll click run and uh, click okay. Here we go. 
Is it doing it or is it going to crash? Oh, here we go. Look, data one, data two. You see data one, data two. This is the list that I've just created. List practice is the title. So let's just uh, to show you what happens when I'm going to add more. Let's add more. Let's do this. Copy. Paste. This is a very manual way of doing it. Um, obviously, you'll use a loop or something or a database or a XML file. It, you know, this source of data could be anything you, you want. But I'm just showing you a basic way. I mean, usually I would put this in a, a for loop. But I'm just doing it manually at the moment. And let's run this again. So hopefully this, um, this added more data than is actually you know displayable in one go and you'll see what happens now here we go so look here we go there is more data than um, available so now when I scroll it goes up to 16 it's a scrollable list and you can like click on things but at the moment I have not added any sort of listener or anything so you can't do anything when you click on it but as you can see all the data is there in the list and um, that's it. Oh, thank you very much for watching this um, basic tutorial on simple, very simple lists. Um, it can get extremely complicated. Um, you know that um, most Android applications are based on this. Nearly everything, like if you're looking at a Gmail app, a even you know WhatsApp or Viber or whatever, everything uses lists. There's list, 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 list. But they've customised the list so much that you don't even notice that it's actually a list. But that's what it is. Um, so, thank you very much again for watching my video. Um, if you would like to support me, please click on the like button. Subscribe if you want to keep up to date. Um, follow me on Twitter. Um, I have a computer science degree background, so I will be uploading many more videos on all sorts of things to do with IT and gadgets. Okay, peace family. Thank you very much again. Bye.